My dear friends, it is certainly a privilege to be able to celebrate this Mass this morning on Easter Sunday, to be able to celebrate with you the great mystery of our faith. As St. Paul says so beautifully and succinctly, if he did not rise from the dead, our faith would be in vain. Jesus came to save us from sin and darkness and from death. And as he rose from the dead, he not only conquered sin and darkness for himself, but also for those who are united with him. Today, we celebrate this in the spirit of the opening prayer that I read for our Mass just a few moments ago, where it said, let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives by the spirit that is within us. My dear friends, you and I, by the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist, have been filled with the Holy Spirit. We have been filled with God's presence in our lives. God's presence which strengthens us here and now in our journey and is a foretaste of being with God forever. And that's why this feast day of Easter Sunday does in fact raise us up. It renews us as we celebrate the great mystery of our faith. In a few moments, we will then come in place of the creed, the renewal of our baptismal promises. That gives us an excellent opportunity to remind us of how our relationship with Jesus Christ began. Many years ago for some of us, and maybe less than that for others, we had the opportunity to become daughters and sons of God when we were baptized and became members of God's family. That relationship is with us our entire lives. And in God's plan, his desire is that each one of us will be able to be with him forever. That forever is made possible by the life, the suffering, the death, and the rising from the dead by Jesus Christ. And so today stands in a very unique place, the commemoration of Easter, when Jesus rose. And you and I are able each year in a, in a special way to celebrate it, but to celebrate it in a way that strengthens our relationship with the Lord as we grow in appreciation of what it means to be a member of God's family, what it means to benefit from what his divine son accomplished for us in such a selfless way, the innocent one giving his life so that you and I may enjoy life to its fullest. That's why for centuries, People greet one another today, Happy Easter. Happy Easter because it, it speaks to the depths of our heart as St. Augustine wrote many years ago, our souls are restless until they rest in thee, O Lord. Having been made in God's image, each one of us yearns to be with God now and forever. And Jesus Christ, has made that possible. May you have a blessed day today. May it be a day of, uh, of a sense of God's presence and love for you. And may it be a day that you may share that wonderful feeling with loved ones and with friends, thus enriching their lives with the joy that you are experiencing. Christ is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia.